I was just doing my Snapchat thing. And this is how serious we were about using 9530. Well, we're just gonna have to get another planter. <laughs> no. No more planters. No more planters. Yeah, this is the new Demco side quest paint. This There's is shape different, so you, visibility is better, I guess. Well, we're gonna put them on the tractor just because we got them, so we're gonna use them. Fill them up. And just, just do tillage and have the tanks on for decoration. Yep. Maybe, maybe we could irrigate with them just, uh, there you go. I was at that watermelon farm where they actually put in a little bit of water right with the plant. You need to have a flood flood planting type of device. I don't think that's gonna work too well. An idea. What is it? What is an inch of rain equal like, to? Yeah, like thirty thousand gallons? gallons, like twenty. Well, you just gotta thousand. you just gotta do the kernel. Oh yeah. <laughs> just irrigate the furrow. <laughs> yeah, that'll work great. OSHA approved. <laughs> Do we need... Oh, I'm just gonna use this tailgate. Yeah, just to see what kind of pallet we got. <laughs> Well, we got them offloaded. These are Demco Side Quest 1,000 gallon tanks, so they're 500 per side of the tractor. They're the same brand as uh, what's on the 9RX right now. Um, these are new, sh new shape to them, so they actually uh, improve visibility out of the cab if it's on like a, well, two track tractor. So, these were for the 9530. Unfortunately, plans change with that, as you know. So these are gonna go in the shed for now. I'm going to assume that they'll get used maybe next year on the 9530 or, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens with them. But they're here now and they look nice. I do like the curvature of them. Honestly, we could probably swap out brackets or maybe the brackets are the same as the 9RX. We could put the, the new and improved ones on. What are we doing? We gotta go up to my place for a little bit. <laughs> okay. They're gonna kill me. What? They've, it's dusty. <laughs> it's been, look at somebody's yeah. big mittens. Paws have been up there. This is gonna be trouble. It's too nice for a farm truck. It's too nice. Yeah, this I is know. ridiculous. I know, it hurts me too. I might have to have a separate set of clothes for the guys but it when does. they get in here. They just have to change quick. It does ride nicer than the Kodiak for pulling this gooseneck around. Right. So if you recognize the surroundings, it's, it's fine. Down, you know. It's good. The weather's it's just deteriorating. <laughs> so this weekend is supposed to be like some big mega storm. Last night we were supposed to get three inches of snow. We got six inches. This weekend we're supposed to get 12 inches. So we'll see what that comes, but that's coming with 55 mile per hour wind, so you really won't be able to measure it, but it's going to really set back spring planting a little I bit. should have stayed out west. <laughs> <laughs> it is very, it's, it's got everyone's mood of like an early spring planting, and it still could warm up and be somewhat decent, but it's just a damper. Haven't had snow hardly all winter, and now it's just, Terrible. For the first time that I can uh, remember, the amount of snow that is going to actually melt and go into our soil is 
yeah it, I probably very all of it all of this will go straight into our soil so yeah. everybody usually comments oh it's good moisture usually that does not work for us because we're frozen ground and we then it just runs off normally yeah. but this year this snow this and is any work. more that comes is actually gonna soak in so that is gonna be good for us I've always said the snow is for the fish because that's where the snow water goes it goes right to the streams and lakes but most of it yes but not this year no because we haven't had frost which is we had like a foot and a half maybe but that quickly left in like the end of February and now it's we're ready to go farming as soon as uh, April 12th rolls around and then the, this white stuff is gone April 12th it's no corn planting date no yeah no you're not gonna do it no <laughs> we've done it before mm, not happening <laughs> why no because this is gonna stick around now well oh yeah that it's yeah. gonna be in a streak I'm afraid it is because now the temperatures of 60 degrees in the forecast have turned to like the next 10 days all in the 20s to 30s so yeah April 12th might be a push so we've came to dad's house here I'll let him explain to you what we're doing but that tote tote that 55 gallon drum needs to go in his shed here I bet you that's not safe anymore that was the beginning of my carpentry skills right there You want to explain to them what this is all about? <laughs> uh, hydrogen peroxide injected into my water so it does not stain the. Uh, it won't stain nothing. It takes all the I, rust, I, I think. That's not the reason. Oh, yeah? I thought it was because of your water has arsenic in it. Hmm, no, I think that's an arsenic remover thing that I got in the house, too. Oh. I don't know. It's been so many. It's been 15 years ago since they've done all this. And I just know I have to have that. <clears throat> and my old one is empty. Empty-ish. So I'm not sure, but I think this is the stuff that you put people in. <laughs> and in a few days, they're gone. <laughs> I think. Yeah, we're I almost better, I better be careful then. So... This one, obviously, has been here since 2020. 2020, so 55 gallons. And you, uh... In about four years. Well, three and a half. That ain't so bad. No. No, not too bad. <laughs> you gonna bring that over here, or <laughs> you gonna just stand there? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Well, I should have never invited you over. <laughs> Look at that. Hooked it. Big plier hooked it. <laughs> I've been through this before. Just got to tweak it a little bit. Need some tape now. Two-faced tape. Oh yeah, it's been damaged. <laughs> what did I say about being careful? Yeah, you said it. <laughs> But you didn't do it. <laughs> no, I have to sell it. <laughs> he ain't gonna sell it. This is his. This is his baby. Even though she's starting to get a little. Can I pull that off? No, just leave that scab alone. That's that's gotta stay there. Unless you got some blue paint in your pocket. This is heavier than. I <laughs> yeah, it's three times what I weigh. Oh, slippery there. Doing good. You know the the guys that do this for a living. I've watched them just <laughs> yeah, they doing it over there and back by now. <laughs> doing good. 
Don't mind my stuff. Just please do not lose control and go through the diamond plate. That would be the end of today. Yeah, I just set it there. I'll manhandle that later. We built this thing. Remember that winter? My gosh, that was that was something. Built the frame out of wood, and then I, it's it's real. Don't show them my junk. <laughs> I tried to weld. <laughs> if anybody ever tries to <laughs> weld this thin diamond plate with a farm welder, <laughs> way too big, our big farm welder, <laughs> we tried making shelves. I was going to really have some nice stuff. <laughs> and here's how nice the stuff looked like after I was done. It was so... Actually, I got nauseous. I was so upset that I could have cried. It was... It was a discouraging deal. So I've got two <laughs> shelves that wouldn't, you couldn't even. Look at the yeah. inside. I just was trying anything. I maybe got more money in welding wire there than what this diamond plate was worth. Yeah, that was a bad deal. <laughs> Buddy, you, you keep them for mem memorabilia? To remember the bad times. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Should we show them the 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 lights I bought on the internet back when the what what was that when it really got just started? Look out! Don't <laughs> don't go blind. It's it's such a joke. That was the first go around. I think of the LED lights. That oh yeah, it's supposed to be great. Ken Arley. It's not even a bed light. Just a joke. Oh well, that's enough of that. We better go back to the farm now. <laughs> hey, don't touch that. That's another winter project. Winter's almost over. Yeah. It's supposed to be. Amy maybe don't need that. <laughs> she sits up nice and straight. She won't need that. Well, with your... Uh... I don't know what kind of glue. Any old glue? Don't look at that neither. <laughs> That's noted for the... You know, maybe I should get a new mower. <laughs> it's not looking good. I put some liquid sealant in the tire. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, man. This has sat inside its whole life and now the seat falls off. I've kept too good a care of it. What the... I'm going back to the farm. For sale. For sale. <laughs> You're going to sell the bug? I would sell it for the right price. It's got to be worth what I paid for it. I paid $4,700 for it, or Stone did. Uh, so it should be worth $4,500 or best offer. <laughs> I don't know. And now we know why nothing gets done here. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I'm never here. It's just it's all discouragement when oh, you yeah, come up you, here. I always tell Amy on the weekends when I go outside, well, I'm going to go outside, walk around, check it out, see what I need to do. And I come back in so discouraged that I don't do what I should do. we get back and there's another delivery. This one's uh, insecticide for in furrow. Yeah, so I remember when I said it's full? She's full. This is all uh, corn seed, I believe, in here. Because we get our, our beans at, uh, we actually go and have them treated and loaded right at, at the seed dealer. So this, uh, this is all just corn seed in here. Not much more room. We actually started to put it in the other shed. But this is going to be in furrow insecticide for corn and corn acres. Um, that's what we picked up. And it is from Ag Chem Solutions, our main channel sponsor. Um, go check them out. 
There, you can also save some money if you're a new customer in the link in the description, the details are there. You also get, I believe, a $100 gift certificate to uh, Farm Focus and you get some Larson Farms merch. On top of that, it's another tool for your toolbox as a farmer. Price checking is a very important thing to do. Um, so if you need some more chemicals for the spraying season or spring, hit him up. He'll be uh, happy to hear from you. So one thing I'm not looking forward to is we got to go through spring again. The yard had just dry, dried out, got nice and firm, and now it's snow covered again. But is what it is. So we did get our wheel seals put in, new bearings, and then painted the uh, rims so they look real fresh, real fresh. Should have painted the hubs, maybe. Don't mention it to Doug or he'll put top hats on it. One thing we, we should do is put some cat eyes on there, the equalizers, crossfires. And then we have are doing some wiring to the trailer. We gotta change a couple of plugins because this is different than our other belly dump. So that's what we've been currently working on. Plus we found a bad spot in this seven pin. So <laughs> splicing. So on our other belly dump, this is the switch that controls it. Um, basically down is closed. That dumps the belly. This one, you have to have a master switch to, to wake the trailer up. And then we got to have a two-way switch. So then you push and hold and it'll open, push and hold, and it'll close. So you can kind of fine tune it a little bit better, but it requires running more wires, which we're having fun doing, right? I need a plus. What? I need a plus screwdriver. Oh. Oh, I only have minuses or hyphens or under, raised underscore. <laughs> uh, Walking. Yeah, that kind of confuses people when you Yell across the shop, I need a hyphen screwdriver. <laughs> well, they should learn <laughs> how it works around here. You ain't got to put in a whole nother switch, do you? Oh, yeah. Can't you use one of them other ones? Ow. You know what? We're finding this right now. It's been stabbing into me the last day. Freaking metal. That buzzing ain't in my head. <laughs> A smaller one. I got but the it. wires don't fit into this. We're up a creek without a paddle again. Rowing with our arms. I have heartburn. <laughs> Link in the description. I'll get rid of it. So this is what I've been working on. Well mom she's doing her books. But I'm finally organizing. Some nice follower built this and sent it to me and it's been sitting in the corner. Mm -hmm that corner to be exact for a long time. Wow. And I just never have time, but things are kind of slow in the shop. So then I bought some shelves for camera gear. And then I found this one. So they magnet on there, all my cameras. Yeah, it's looking, looking really a lot more neat than it's been. And then I got these for my headsets. I can plug in, charge them. What do you think? I think so. I think the little spot for your cameras is my favorite, like the magnet. Yeah, but with the barn wood. they made in a pile over here. Yeah, just. For how many years have you been doing this? Ever, forever, <laughs> since the so, existence of yay. the YouTube channel. I mean, you just have to have an idea and then make I it I just was so sick as I keep collecting cameras. I never get rid of them. I just keep buying new Sounds ones like as they get wrecked because, you know, you can't ever have too many. That sounds like your father. Well, what do you do with them? Keep they the still work. They're keep just keep the cameras, keep the pickups. Half of these have big scars in the lenses from grinding or mm. getting ran over. Ran over a couple of them. Parts. Might need them for parts. Yeah. One's a Duggo cam. One's an Eric cam. One's a Brody cam. Mm. One's okay. a Chet cam. Okay. Everyone Small has its cams. own Kirks, quirks. Oh. We give Doug with a junky one so that he when it locks up, California. he's cut off. <laughs> the battery just like blew up. The yeah. one in California just it got really fat and. They don't like plane rides. Uh -huh. You take a fistful with, 
We hope to come back with a half a fistful. I think we got a third. <laughs> uh, that was destroyed. So two thirds mm -hmm. came back, I think. I think. Yeah, so there's a behind the scenes shot of uh, all of the camera gear. Yeah, pretty great. It's pretty simple. Well, the last and final job of the Friday afternoon is to hook the snowblower back up. Wow! This should be <laughs> this should be against the law. What should be? Once you unhook from this you this thing, I almost said a bad word. <laughs> Proceed forward. What are you doing? Dog told me to bump her up. Huh? She's flat. So this thing got parked here shortly after we are gaining. Got it running. It hasn't moved since. Looking good. Looking good. I see the shed is working really well. We got rid of the pontoon to storage, and now we got jet skis. <coughs> this one I was afraid we weren't gonna get to use the snow pusher. Here we are. So right now what they're forecasting is, well, it's kind of all over the board. Some apps say 10 to 12 inches. Some says 18 to 24 inches. So I mean like double. So somewhere between one foot and two feet of snow we're gonna get with the nice blustery winds gusting at 55 miles per hour. So it'll be a full blown shut down the country or Minnesota blizzard. So we're gonna get this in the shop just in case we need the big boy. Big dogs are ready. Big dogs are ready. Ooh, ooh. Everybody knows the rules now. This just stays on the yard. No concrete removal because you will tear the concrete right off <laughs> and that'll be in the snow pile. So, Or would it be called the gravel pile? It'll be called the demo pile. <laughs> well, I think that's going to be a wrap. I think we're ready for the snowstorm Sunday slash Monday. Have no idea, may not even be here Monday because of the horrible weather. Might not be possible to be honest with you, but we'll, we'll see, we'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and we're gonna see you in the next video.